In this video, I will show you how to make this type of log fire carved furniture. Now you're looking at the sections of a pine tree falling by a hurricane. Most of the core from the tree trunk sections were intentionally burned out, which made the improvised stools and table significantly lighter and gave them an interesting character. It all started when I decided to fry freshly caught rebushka fish using a Finnish log torch rather than a campfire. I think the fried rebushka fish prepared on the log torch is the most delicious fish dish out there. You might have noticed that my log torch is a bit different from the classical Finnish torch. Let's talk about the details. To make the log torch you will need to cut a section of a log about 17 inches 42 to 44 cm long. I made two crisscross rib cuts to shape a stool with four legs. However, you can make a stool with three or five legs using this method. Now we need to start a fire inside the rib cuts and wait till it burns down the cuts. The easiest way to do it is to use fire starting fluid, but I'm not looking for the easy ways. I hammered four sacrificial wooden stakes that will keep the legs in even length. The stakes will eventually burn out, but they will preserve the bottoms of the legs from overburning. You need to keep an eye on the fire and put it out on time, otherwise the log will completely burn. If desired, you can scrape the charred portions off of the log and round the edges of the seat. This will look better and feel more comfortable. If I had a wire scratch brush with me in the wilderness, I would have done a better job at scraping off the charred pieces. In the fire carved furniture part 2, I will show you how to make cylindrical and oval shaped holes in the logs. I recorded this video in 2014. Since then, a lot of things have changed at my camp. For example, I built a log cabin using falling trees, but this fire carved furniture is still serving me well. It is still very comfortable to use and easy to carry. In other words, this furniture is surprisingly long lasting, even in the humidity of the northern forests. Although I have made other primitive camping furniture over the years, this fire carved camping furniture is still in use and going strong. Perhaps one of my upcoming videos will be about my dome made from tree branches and plastic wrap. Also, I'm editing an upcoming video that will show how to make this type of camping cot made from a couple of recycled sacks and large sticks. If you liked this video and want to help grow this channel, please share it with others. I really appreciate your contribution. Thank you for your kind words and support. This video would not have existed without your outstanding encouragement. This is Max Yegorov. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you back.